The voting exercise in the Ketui West constituency kicked off as per the schedule with the polling stations opening at 6 in the morning. The exercise, however, started at a rather slow pace with few voters streaming in to cast their votes. I was able to the law of voter turnout attributed to Monday a working day. We anticipate a low turnout, about 25% uh, across the constituency. Uh, it might even go up to 30%, but uh, as at lunch hour, uh, it was more or less at... 20%. The five candidates in this particular exercise streamed to their respective polling stations to vote. Nak Kenya candidate who voted at Matada Primary School, Robert Mutiso, claimed the exercise might not be fair, saying IBC was favoring one candidate. We hope, other than what has been uh, going on with the returning officer, and with another candidate, uh, the whole process in the evening, counting and declaration of the results will be fair. I'm not aware about that because there is, there is no proof that IBC is on my side. They've not been on my side. Wipers Edith Nyenze, who voted at Chondoni Primary School, said she was optimistic of a win. I expect to win by the end of the day because we are prayed about it, we, are, we, we actually prepared ourselves and did our best. Others are Kenya Social Congress candidate Frida Nyiva and independent candidate Dennis Moli, both of which were positive of a win. In every competition there is a winner and a loser, so whatever comes, I'll take it. What I get is that uh, I'm going to win uh, uh, this by-election and uh, I expect the, the process to be fair. Kitui West constituency has over 52,000 registered voters. The polling stations have closed exactly at 5 p.m. and what is happening now is a vote counting and then tallying and eventually announcement of the winner in this Kitui West constituency race. Then we'll keep you informed as the events unfold. From Kitui West constituency in Kitui County, my name is Samson Kitavi.